Welcome back to Sister Circle Love. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, actress, and now mommy to be. And as a regular on OWN's hit TV drama Greenleaf, and as part of VH1's upcoming reality series, Tiny NTI Friends and Family Hustle, she's living her best life. Please welcome our sister, Latoya Luckett. Yay! You better be this fine in your yes. third trimester. Child, these ankles are swelling. I know that's right, <laughs> child. Yes. You, well, you're just glowing. You yes. just look Thank gorgeous. You. Amazing. How Thank has you. this uh, third trimester been treating you? Child? Oh, Lord. Uh, I know, child. <laughs> yes, no, I mean, seriously, like, I'm swelling in my ankles now, and I can only be in heels for maybe 10 minutes, so mm -hmm. I, the count, the clock is counting down. Okay. Well, um, you can put on flip flops at any time. We oh, and I will. discriminate. Yes. I will, but every, I mean, everything so far is so great. I had a little scared, but uh -oh. we, I mean, I'm good. God is okay. seeing me through. This mm -hmm. is a definite mm -hmm. faith walk. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This ma is a faith walk for sure. Yes. And Latoya, you are a woman of many talents. Yes. You have oh, two you. shows going on at once. You're a singer, you're a songwriter, you're married, you're having a baby. <laughs> it's like, you are not slowing down. Oh, at How all? are you balancing all of this? You know what? It's so crazy because I had a conversation with my sister on my way here, and I said, wow, like, I want to, you know, get back in the studio very soon. Of course, we're going to start back taping Greenleaf mm -hmm. very soon. Mm -hmm. as Yay! Well as Congratulations on that. Yes! yes. Oh. <laughs> and um, <laughs> thank you to all the fans that watch Greenleaf. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I know you love to hate Rochelle. Yeah. It ain't me. It ain't Toya. That means you're doing your thing. Right. You got to know the difference between I'm just out here acting. Right. Um, <laughs> but I was having a conversation with my sister, and I was like, yo, I said, when have I ever really been able to give my undivided attention to something? Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. said, for this last trimester, for these last few months, I just want to be still. Yeah. I want to be still. I want to connect. I don't want yeah. to, you know, have someone calling and having a rush here and rush there. Mm -hmm. Like, that's been my life since yeah. I was 12 years old. Yeah. So right. to finally just to be able to exhale and, and really focus on preparing for my baby to get here yeah. is really exciting. <laughs> Okay, now, dis despite that you are uh, an amazing singer mm -hmm. and very accomplished thank you, singer, sorry, yes. by the way, I can't yes. I'll, I'll, I'll see that. Like thank you. <laughs> um, you're also an impressive actress. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you just got off. Uh, just got off stage doing Set It Off. I did. With Kyla <laughs> Pratt, Demetra McKinney, and DeBrett. Yes. Which hey, is ladies, it's my tribe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, how would you say that being on stage um, kind of helps the rest of your acting, or if Ooh. it does? It, it absolutely does. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've never done live theater before, especially as an actress, mm -hmm. I mean, I would, I would definitely highly recommend it mm -hmm. because, you know, you got that one time. Yeah, you go That's out it. there. It's no, oh, can we start this back again? Mm -hmm. But it gets my adrenaline like going, mm -hmm. and it's exciting. And I surprise myself every time we go out there. Wow. Um, even with my recoveries, if I did miss a line, if something uh -huh. did happen, mm -hmm. you know, you get to do something new every single night. Yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make more of a habit of doing live theater, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I'm taking off from film and TV and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I, I love it. I do too. Mm -hmm. It's so much and fun. And the crowd is there. They're like, the yes, girl. Yes, energy. Every yeah. night it's something different. You know, so <laughs> yes. I like it. I like it so much. Yes. And, and you know what? But, and speaking of your evolution, you said, and I quote, let me get this right because it's a quote. Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people start to lose themselves because people have opinions and they become insecure. Yes. But you've got to stick to the real yes. reason you wanted to become an artist. Yes. Message. So for yes. you, what was your reason? And what has been your, your my reason for wanting to stick to, to, to it? Your, your motivation yeah. and your yeah. fight to stay true to who you are with mm. so much going on. Um, you know what? For me, when it comes to my career, I remember being that little girl at six, seven years old and watching the Whitney Houstons mm -hmm. and watching Gladys Knight and watching Shaka Khan and Anita Baker and all these Janet Jackson wonderful people and performing and saying, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I remember mm -hmm. the moment when I said, I want to do that. 
I didn't know all the politics that were going to go into mm -hmm. it. I didn't care about the money. I didn't care about any of that stuff. It was just something that I wanted to do. And for God to allow that dream to come true, right. like I can't allow the other st stuff to taint that experience mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. to make me feel like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Or, right. you know, I, I don't want to use my platform and, and be able to, you know, share my gift mm -hmm. because of some other stuff, some right. got distractions. Mm -hmm. That's going to come with it. It's exactly. life. That's you life. know what I mean? It's Hello, life somebody. and stuff happens All the time. um so you can't allow that to you know get you off your path or you know kind of stray you away from your purpose i won't allow that it's been times where i've been like mm, mm. but i had to suck it up and say this is why you do it and you don't and every single i remember when i put out torn and i would have girls come up to me like you made me get out of an abusive relationship mm -hmm. with that record yep and i was like how can I stop recording? How can I stop uh, singing these songs right. when people, and I know I've been healed from music before, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? How can I stop doing these things when it's touching people? It's it's pulling on people's heartstrings and forget the other stuff. It's exactly. cool. Right. I mean, we like right. our stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, who don't like that stuff? <laughs> But at the same time, like, stuff comes and goes. It does. And it you does. can't take it with you. Well, we're going to get into more of your stuff yeah. when we come back. We'll have come more with you for your lucky when we return, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>